So next up we have each candidate in, in the same order answering the question that they received in advance of the night's customs. And if you didn't see the question on, on Facebook, it'll be up on the screen as each candidate is answering the question. So, okay, yeah. Nobody seems to understand the economy has collapsed. Do you understand that in Britain, I have the figures here, debt as a percentage of GDP has quadrupled from 27% to 104%. It was 83% before COVID, and they spent £6 billion pounds giving their friends contracts and their friends in Big Pharma and their friends who made fraudulent tests. The economy has already collapsed. They have printed fiat currency now for 20 years. They bailed out the banks in 2008, but they didn't change the system. Irish people, Irish people, and people in Greece especially, and people across the world paid for that, and the bankers laughed while they continued that system. Workers have never been in a more precarious, precarious position. The cost of living we are now facing into not a depression, but a re uh, uh, sorry, not a recession, but a depression. Money is going to be utterly worthless, and people need to understand that the time for platitudes is over. This happened on the watch of the political parties who are sitting in Stormont. This happened on their watch. The NHS is being dismantled right in front of our eyes. People cannot get help. It cannot, they just cannot get the basic help. People are being pushed into the arms of the private sector. And we hear nonsense. So that's not the question I was asked. I'm going to address the question I was asked, which I, I didn't actually understand this question. Uh, every year more people are killed at work than in wars. I presume that is true in a time of peace. But we can see that the CIA and MI6 and the American State Department and every other um, corrupt uh, supranational uh, corporation across the world is deeply invested in a war where more people are killed than are ever going to be killed in accidents at work. This is a proxy war which is happening in Ukraine and all these parties seem to be fairly happy with it. Ordinary civilians, the military industrial complex will laugh all the way to the bank and ordinary Ukrainian people will suffer as they have done because Ukraine has been the battleground between East and West for centuries. In the, 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 the question, in, in uh, the figures I could find were in the UK, 142 workers have been held at work uh, in the past uh, year. The things are falls from a height, struck by a moving vehicle, these are the common ones, struck by, uh, including a flying falling object, trapped by something collapsing, contact with moving machinery, and all other accidents. So I'm not too sure, you know, I absolutely, um, don't, don't get me wrong, I think it is very, very important that health and safety at work is given utmost priority. But it's difficult to see what PP, PPE is going to do to actually change these figures. Now, if by PPE we mean wearing paper cloth masks, um, my attitude to this is I have written letters over the last few months to very many employers in Derry who are forcing, while the mask mandates are over, are enforcing their employees working in supermarkets and in shops to rebreathe their bodies' waste gases. Now, if people want to rebreathe their bodies' waste gases, that is absolutely fine by me. The atmospheric CO2 is 400 parts per million. Behind that, that mask, it's up to 4,000 parts per million. If people want to do that without a government mandate, that's fine. But workers should not be forced to wear these things for eight hours. And I have written to employers around Derry. That is my position on PPE. These things, there's a meta-analysis now from Harvard University showing that they are worse than useless. They are harming our children's mental health. They are harming our children's, harming our children's ability to communicate. And we can see 40% delay in children, now preschool children. And I've come across children who have never seen an unmasked adult human face because of the lies told by Boris Johnson and by the transnational multi-billionaires who have uh, just everything that we've been forced to live through through the past two years is provably and demonstrably a lie. And if anybody wants proof, I have spent, as I say, a lot of time walking around talking to people about this, but I've also been studying for about six hours a day original scientific papers and listening to, to uh, the millions of doctors around the world and scientists and epidemiologists and virologists who are not on the payroll of the governments and who okay. understand the real science around this. 
Workers need protected from their government.